Hey guys, welcome to part five. In the last video, we removed the top shell portion. Now we have the bottom shell, which has the brush roller, the suction motor, and the motherboard. So in this video, we're gonna be removing the motherboard. So let's get to it. First thing that we gotta do is remove all these wires. And if you're replacing it, you don't have to be as careful, um, except for the wire portion. But if you're keeping anything, you wanna be extremely careful. And it looks like this robot has been gone through before and repaired. For what? I don't know. Generally speaking, these don't get repaired by Shark. Alright, so all the wires are disconnected from the motherboard. There's a little one right here. And now we're going to take our Phillips head and remove the one, two, three, four, five. Five Phillips head. And you'll see once we get these out that you're going to have to route the wires a little bit different when you go to pull up on them. But those are all disconnected, so it makes this step a lot easier. I'm sure y'all can see. If you like this video, guys, please hit that like button. It really helps our channel out. And uh, it also helps us make more content like this okay so there's the five now if you're just replacing the the camera sensor and everything you can remove those Phillips head which are smaller but I don't recommend it because a lot of times it's the motherboard not the sensors all right so as you can see we picked it up and now we just have to unclip some more wires that are kind of hidden on the sides and there you go one motherboard and let's see do we see any damage on this motherboard i don't see any damage sticking out to me right off the rip so this could just be a sensor issue with this robot but who knows but this part won't be for sale i will remove the rubber boot in case anybody needs it but i won't sell any of this Due to the fact, I don't know if any of it's good. All right, follow for part six.